Hey there, in this lecture, we're going to take a deep dive into the flex property, which we talked about in the previous lesson. So now I have a very simple version of our navbar. This time it only contains two items, the home item and the logout item, and they both have a flex of one. That means that they'll take up half the space each and they'll grow and shrink with the size of the container. However, as I mentioned earlier, flex is actually a shorthand property for three other properties. They are called flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis. And setting flex equal to one, and when we set the flex value, we're actually setting all three of these. And even just writing one is actually also kind of a shorthand, because what we're actually saying here is one, one, zero. The first number is the grow value, the second is the shrink value, and the third is the basis value. So this is also the same as setting one, one, zero. So it's kind of three levels here. You can write it the hard way, doing it like this, or the slightly easier way, doing it like this, or the absolutely easiest way, doing it like this. Okay, this might seem confusing, so let's actually go through these properties here one by one. I'll remove this one and also comment out the flex grow and flex shrink. And now copy that over here. Now what we're going to do is set the flex basis on both of the items. We'll set it to 200 pixels and set it to that on both. And now we have a container with two items which each are set to 200 pixels. At least they'll be 200 pixels if the container is more than 400 pixels wide. So flex basis is a way of setting the base width of the element. So they'll now stay at 200 pixels, regardless of how much extra space there is in the container. If there's less than 400 pixels, they'll actually start to shrink, but that's something we're going to look at a little bit later. So let's not get ahead of ourselves there. Let's move on to the flex grow. If we cut this out here and paste it in there and do the same thing here, now you can see they actually grow with the width of the container. So flex grow basically decides how much of the extra space should be distributed to the various items. If we set them to zero on both of these, this extra space will not be distributed to either home or logout since they both have a flex grow of zero. However, if for example, logout gets a flex grow of one, it'll take up all of the remaining space and home will get nothing of the remaining space. But as you saw, if the home also has value of one, it too will grow with the size of the container. And now as these values are identical, both have one, the Flexbox layout will distribute the extra space evenly across the two items. So these two numbers also work in relation to each other. If we set logout to two, you'll see that the logout grows twice as quick as the home. This will be a bit more apparent if we use a larger number, for example, five. Now when it grows, you can see that the logout is clearly growing faster than the home item. And actually it's growing five times faster. So just to reiterate on that, if we set both of these to zero, then we have the extra space on the side and the wider we make the container, the more extra space we have. However, if we give the logout flex grow of one, it will take up all of the available space and grow into it. We make only the home have a flex grow of one, it will take up all the available space and grow into it. And if both of them are set to one, they will distribute the extra space evenly across each other. Okay, so now let's move on to flex shrink. Let's set these flex grow values back to zero and copy the shrink down here and down here. So as you remember, even though we've set the basis here to 200 pixels, the flex container will force them to be less than 200 pixels if the container is less than 400 pixels, like now. Now there may be 150 pixels each or something like that. And that is because flex shrink is set to one, meaning that they will both shrink at an equal rate. 
And this is actually the default value for flex shrink. So while the grow is by default set to zero, the flex shrink is by default set to one, meaning that if I remove this one and this one, we'll still have the same behavior. They both shrink at an equal rate. Let's get them back again. Okay, now let's change the flex shrink to zero for the home item. What'll happen now is that when we reach the 400 pixel threshold and the items will have to start shrinking, the logout will do all the shrinking while the home stays at 200 pixels. So the logout is doing all the shrinking since it has flex shrink set to one, while home does none of the shrinking since it has flex shrink set to zero. Now let's change the flex shrink on this one to something greater than one and see what happens then. Let's add five, for example. What happens now is that when we reach the threshold, the home item is shrinking much quicker than the logout item. It's actually shrinking five times faster than the logout item. So these numbers work in relation to each other, meaning that you have to look at both the numbers, this one and this one, to understand how one of the numbers play out on the page. Because now logout has a flex shrink of one, and as you can see, it shrinks really slowly because one is a small number in relation to five. However, if we take this back again and set the flex shrink of home to zero, then suddenly logout does all the shrinking because one in relation to zero is infinitely more. Okay, so let's rewrite these two here to the behavior we want. We want flex grow actually to be at one and we want flex shrink to be at one and do the same thing here and have the flex basis stay at 200. So now they grow and shrink at the same rate and they have and they are 200 pixels by default. So now we can get back to the shorthand again. We're going to do flex and do one, one, 200 pixels. This is the exact same thing as this, meaning we can remove this and also copy it over to this logout item. Okay, so finally, I want to give you the task for this lecture. What I want you to do now is that once this container here crosses the threshold of 400 pixels, I want you to make the logout item grow 10 times as fast as the home item. So go ahead and do that. And when you come back to the screencast, I'll show you the solution. Okay, hopefully you paused the screencast and did the assignment. It's really easy, actually. If you want the logout to grow 10 times as fast as the home item, you simply set the flex grow, which is the first one of the three, to 10. And now, as you can see, the logout grows really fast and home grows really slowly. However, when they start shrinking, they both shrink at an equal rate, meaning when they're less than 200 pixels, they both shrink and grow actually at the same rate. But once they cr cross the 200 pixel threshold about here, the logout takes over. Okay, so that was it. And I'll see you in the next lecture.